When you look at uh, the University of Massachusetts from the outside, uh, were there some assets either on the ice or off the ice that are currently in place where you said, okay, I can see how we move this forward? You know what, in my four years at St. Lawrence, we, we never played UMass, and, and I never even, when we, we, we played a lot of hockey teams, but I, even in pre-scouting, I, I never even saw them play once. So mm -hmm. a little blind coming into it, but uh, Jack Arena and some other people that work in the Hockey East and people I trust and, and the pros, uh, agents, advisors, everybody said the same thing. They said it's, it's a home run just waiting to happen. They just felt like they just needed to get the right person in there. Uh, had the right direction. They said from facilities to resources uh, to student body to the quality of education here, uh, one of the best college towns in the in the country. They said it's it's a home run waiting to happen. And so I wouldn't have left uh, where I was uh, unless I thought it was somewhere where I could come and and again uh, make my mark and have a lot of fun doing it. Let's talk about some hockey. You uh, as a player scored over 100 points in your college career. Uh, but you won an award as the defensive forward of the year, so I'm assuming you like players who are proficient on both sides of the puck. Yes, yes, for sure. And you know, if you look back at the record books when I, when I played, you, there were games that scores eight to six and, and seven to four. And nowadays, hundred points is hundred points. <laughs> yeah, that's what you tell the players. Yeah. Um, so I put a little asterisk on, on that, uh, but for sure I was I was one of the players that the coach really trusted on the ice to put in in um, any kind of situation, and I thought it was uh, you know a heady, you know good hockey sense kind of player. Um, Two hundred feet all around. To me, I was just a little bit above average as, as a player, but th I thought the game well. And um, you need all sorts of players, but you know, hockey sense is something a coach always loves. When uh, you look at, or when we look at a Greg Carvel coach team, is there a signature style or an imprinted style that you want to be recognizable for one of your teams? Yeah, we we built an identity at St. Lawrence, and and it worked for us, and. Um, but I think the, the signature of, of my teams is, you know, there's a saying that um, you know, Brian Murray taught me is that the, a team takes on the personality of the coach. And I thought that was, that was really the case in St. Lawrence. I, th I think we were a very well prepared team that um, my players always will go into a game knowing exactly what to expect. They'll go into a game playing together as a structured unit and they'll play hard and they'll skate fast. And so. Um, that's the identity that we that we built at St. Lawrence, and we tried to add as much skill to it as we could. But ultimately, you, you have to have a team that can skate and really compete, and and play a structure where there's some predictability. Um, you can play a lot faster when uh, you know what your teammates are going to do. So to me, it's very important that you you have a vision for your team, that you you really explain it and teach it and develop it, and uh, your players are all on the same page. There's there's, there's a lot of power. Uh, in, in, a, in a group that is all pulling in the same direction. Uh, UMass hockey fans will point to uh, 2007 NCAA appearance, uh, a couple trips to the Garden for the Hockey's tournament, a couple of in-season tournament championships, and, uh, and say those aren't outliers. Those should be regular occurrences for a program of this stature. I assume you have that same belief system. Yeah, the, the parity at this level, it's so close. The difference between winning and losing is, is not that great. So um, it shouldn't be looked at as outliers. It, you know, it's something you have to build. I think it's not something that you want to happen one year and then and you fall back. It's something you want to you want to build towards. And, and that's, that's what we were able to do at St. Lawrence. And I, I feel very strongly that's something as a coach that I'll, I'll bring here. It's, it's building something that's consistent and, and self-perpetuating, um, but it takes work and it takes kids committed to uh, really wanting to be you know, part of something that's bigger than themselves and, it's, and they, they realize how rewarding it is and uh, there's great power in that and um, you know, that's how I like to coach, uh, trying to bring a team together I, like, I think I'm a coach that players trust because they know I've got their back. They know they're being uh, coached well and prepared well, and uh, that's my plan here. Greg Carvel, 
new hockey coach for the University of Massachusetts men's hockey program. Coach, thanks for doing this. Pleasure. Look forward to seeing you in October, and we look forward to seeing everybody at the Mullen Center for the 2016-17 hockey campaign next year.